For millions of years, our night sky has looked the same. Quiet, peaceful, eternal. But that peace is an illusion. Because even now, far beyond what our eyes can see, two colossal galaxies are hurtling toward each other, pulled by a force they cannot escape. One of them is our home, the Milky Way. The other, the mighty Andromeda. These galaxies are locked in a slow motion crash, one that won't begin for another four billion years. But when it does, it will tear the fabric of our galaxy apart and create something entirely new. This is the true story of how our galaxy will die and how its death will give birth to the next chapter of the universe. Welcome to Skyward Space Quest. This is the death of the Milky Way, our galaxy's final collision. Let's begin with our home, the Milky Way. It's a barred spiral galaxy, a swirling disk of stars, gas, dust and dark matter over 100,000 light years wide and home to at least 200 billion stars, maybe more. And somewhere among those stars is a tiny yellow sun orbited by a pale blue dot called Earth. We reside in one of the galaxy's spiral arm, the Orion arm, about 27,000 light years from the galactic center. There, at the heart of the Milky Way, lies Sagittarius A asterisk, a supermassive black hole with a mass of over four million suns. Everything in our galaxy, including us, revolves around this invisible monster. One complete orbit takes our solar system around 225 million years. Now, meet our cosmic neighbor. The Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31, lies two and a half million light years away. But don't let that number fool you. On cosmic scales, Andromeda is close, very close. And more than that, it's coming for us. Andromeda is even larger than the Milky Way, with an estimated trillion stars and a central black hole many times the mass of our own. And it's moving toward us at about 110 kilometers per second, roughly 250,000 miles per hour. At that speed, you could circle Earth in under seven minutes. But space is vast. Even at this velocity, Andromeda won't reach us for billions of years. Still, the trajectory is set. Gravity has spoken, and the Milky Way's fate is sealed. So, how do we know Andromeda is headed straight for us? For over a century, astronomers believed it might be. In the early 20th century, Vesto Slipher first measured its blue shift, the telltale sign that Andromeda is approaching, not retreating. Later, Hubble helped confirm Andromeda as a separate galaxy, ending the idea that the Milky Way was the entire universe. In modern times, missions like Gaia and the Hubble Space Telescope have tracked Andromeda's movement with exquisite precision. We now know not only that it's approaching, but also how fast and at what angle. The result? A direct collision course. But this won't be an explosion. Galaxies aren't solid objects. They're mostly empty space. When galaxies collide, stars almost never crash into one another. Instead, they pass by, gravitationally interacting, slinging each other into new orbits, sometimes even ejecting stars into intergalactic space. The real drama comes from the gas and dust. When clouds of gas collide, they compress. And when gas is compressed, it ignites star formation. During the merger, we expect to see a starburst era, a time when tens of millions of new stars are born in rapid succession. A second galactic spring, fueled by destruction. This process will unfold over billions of years. Around four billion years from now, Andromeda and the Milky Way will have their first close pass. Their spiral arms will stretch and distort, and massive tidal tails will form. Eventually, after several sweeps, they'll merge into one, forming a new, larger galaxy, a cosmic rebirth and a cosmic grave. Imagine the night sky four billion years from now. Andromeda looms large, a glowing whirlpool of stars, ten times the size of the full moon, slowly creeping into view over millions of years. 
Then comes the first encounter. Tidal forces begin to pull on both galaxies. Stars and gas stretch outward, forming vast arcs, trails of light tens of thousands of light years long. It's as if each galaxy is being shredded in slow motion. The first collision won't be the last. Galaxies do not merge cleanly. They dance. Over a billion years, the Milky Way and Andromeda will pass through each other multiple times, colliding, recoiling, twisting, and finally spiraling together. Their spiral arms, gone, their disk shapes, deformed. The cores of each galaxy and the supermassive black holes they hold will spiral closer and closer. Over time, these black holes will merge as well in one of the most violent events in the universe. When that happens, gravitational waves will ripple outward, distortions in space-time itself, detectable across the cosmos. The final product of this merger, a new elliptical galaxy, round, smooth and vast. Astronomers call it Milk Dromeda. What happens to Earth? If it still exists in four billion years, it will be a very different place. The Sun, now halfway through its life, will be nearing its death. By that time, it will have entered its red giant phase, swelling outward, possibly engulfing Mercury, Venus, and maybe even Earth. Even if we survive, conditions will be extreme. The oceans may have boiled away. The atmosphere could be gone. Life as we know it will have ended, unless it evolved or escaped long before. But what if humans or their descendants are still around, perhaps living on Mars or among the stars? During the merger, our solar system will be pushed and pulled by galactic tides. Simulations suggest there's about a 50 to 70% chance the Sun will remain within the merged milk dromeda. But our position will shift dramatically. We may be flung farther out into the galactic halo, or pulled inward closer to the chaotic center, or even ejected into intergalactic space forever alone. If we remain, the night sky will transform. The stars of Andromeda will swirl above us. The sky will glow brighter with tens of thousands of new stars. Nebulae will flare, gas clouds will light up, the galaxy will shine with rebirth. It would be terrifying, but breathtaking. When the dust finally settles, the Milky Way and Andromeda will be no more. In their place, Milk Dromeda, a new elliptical galaxy, smooth and golden, glowing with the light of aging stars. This type of galaxy is different. Unlike spirals, ellipticals are round and lack well-defined arms. Star formation slows. The remaining stars drift in randomized orbits. The central black hole, now a merged behemoth, may weigh tens of millions of solar masses. It will continue feeding on nearby gas, growing ever larger. Around it, billions of stars will orbit quietly. Over time, the galaxy will settle into stability. No more collisions, no more chaos. But Milk Dromeda won't be static. It will drift, rotate, and continue to age. In time, its stars will begin to die. And with no new gas to form more, it will fade. One day, it will become a dim remnant, an ember in a dying cosmos. Let's fast forward. Not just billions, but trillions of years into the future. Milk Dromeda still exists, but it is fading. The universe around it has grown dark. Other galaxies have moved so far away thanks to the accelerating expansion of the universe that they are now unreachable. Eventually new stars will stop forming, old stars will die, black holes will evaporate, even matter may decay. This is the path to heat death, the final state of the universe where everything is spread too thin to support structure, energy or change a cold, lifeless void. The story that began with the Big Bang will end in silence, unless some new physics intervenes, some unknown cycle restarts, or something beyond this universe continues, but from what we know, this is how it ends. Should you worry about this? No. These events will not happen for billions of years. Civilizations will rise and fall many times before the Milky Way collides with Andromeda, but understanding them gives us something deeper. Perspective. We are part of a living galaxy. 
One that was born, is evolving and will one day die. And we are lucky, so lucky, to exist at this moment, in this brief slice of cosmic history, with eyes to see the stars and minds to understand what's coming. So don't be afraid of the end. Be amazed that you were here for the middle. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and space. If you found yourself in awe of the cosmos today, like this video, subscribe to Skyward Space Quest and tap the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. From the birth of stars to the death of galaxies, our journey has only begun. Until next time, keep looking up.